In this video, we'll take a look at the concept of span um, in the setting of some abstract vector spaces. So you can see here for this first exercise, we're working in the space um, M22, which is the set of uh, two by two matrices with real entries. So when we ask uh, whether the first matrix is in the span of the set of those other three, we're asking whether there's a linear combination of those three that equals um, our, matrix of in our matrix of interest, negative one, seven, eight, negative one. So the question is, is there a C1 times one, zero, two, one, plus C2 times uh, two, negative three, zero, two, plus C3 times zero, one, to zero, uh, that e set that that sum, that linear combination equals negative one, seven, eight, negative one. And so um, what we'll do is if we distribute those scalars into their corresponding matrices and then add them all up, we can see that we get the matrix C1 plus two C2 um, plus 0C3, so I won't write that one in. And then 0C1 minus 3C2, that's a 3 right there, uh, plus C3. And then in the 2-1 uh, entry, second row, first column, we have uh, 2C1 plus 2C3. And then in the uh, in the uh, second row, second column, we have C1 plus 2C2. And the question is whether or not um, we can come up with constants to make that equal to negative 1, 7, 8, negative 1. So um, those two matrices would be equal um, if and only if the corresponding entries are equal. So we end up with a system of equations, C1 plus 2C2 um, equals negative 1, negative 3C1 uh, plus C3 equals 7, 2C1 plus 2C3 equals 8, and uh, C1 plus 2C2 equals negative 1. So then what we want to do is uh, set up the augmented matrix for this and, and row reduce it. So I'm going to do that one and uh, that all in one step. So the row reduced version of the augmented matrix ends up looking like this. We have 1, 0, 0, uh, 3, 0, 1, 0, negative 2, and 0, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 0, 0, 0. So we can see here these are the columns uh, columns of the matrix. Here's the uh, line for augmenting. So the first column stands for it represents the uh, scalar C1, second column C2, third column C3. So we can see what we have is that C3 equals 1, C2 equals negative 2, and C1 equals 3. So we can see then that if we do the, um, the linear combination, um, so we have C1 again is 3, so 3 times 1, 0, 2, 1. Uh, minus 2 times our second matrix, which is 2, negative 3, 0, 2. And then plus the third matrix, um, 0, 1, 2, 0, equals the desired result, which is negative 1, 7, 8, negative 1. So the matrix that we were interested in is in fact in the span of the set of other three of the other three matrices. Okay.
Sorry about that. Should have dwelled on that for a moment more. And there's there's a, an equation uh, demonstrating that it is in fact in the span. Now we'll move to uh, to the space uh, P2, which is the set of all polynomials of degree two or less. Um, and the question is whether or not uh, this f of x is in the span of f x squared plus 1 and x plus 3. So we do the same thing. We set up a linear combination c1 times x squared plus 1 plus c2 times x plus 3. We set that equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. And if we distribute our constants, our scalars, we have c1x squared plus c1 plus c2x plus c2 or 3c2. And we want that equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. We need to group the uh, corresponding terms on the left side. So we have c1x squared. That's the only x squared term. And the only x term is plus c2x. But then we have the constant term um, c1 plus 3c2. And we want that equal to, and I guess I should put a question mark here. We want that equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now that would only be the case if c1 equaled 1. It's our first equation. And uh, c2 See, we have three, three constants there, so let me leave room for all of them. So C1 equals 1, uh, C2 equals 2, and then C1 plus 3C2 C3, C3. Ah, I was wrong. We only have two constants. Let me, let me rewrite that. So we've got uh, C1 equals 1. Um, C2 equals 2, and then C1 plus 3C2 um, equals 1. And again, if we put that into augmented matrix form and then row reduce it, what we have is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. And remembering that this represents a system of equations in the unknown C1 and C2, we can see from the last row that we have no solution. So that means that um, our conclusion, that means that x squared or f of x is not in the span of the given set of vectors or polynomials, which is x squared plus 1 and x plus 3. That concludes this video on um, the span of a set of vectors.